विजुअल स्टूडियो 2017. सेवेंटीन आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन लाइक हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डाउनलोड द सॉफ्टवेयर इंस्टॉल इट इन सर्च इन फॉर विजुअल स्टूडियो टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन आई गॉट दिस लिंक यू गो टू दिस लिंक विजुअल स्टूडियो डाउनलोड एबल टू सी विजुअल स्टूडियो कम्युनिटी स्टूडियो प्रोफेशनल स्टूडियो एंटरप्राइज एंड स्टूडियो कॉ so this is free download it's a free fully featured id and it's charges i'm taking the free one to install so the ex is downloaded so i'm trying to install it it's asking the permission yes I'm clicking continue. So this is our Visual Studio installation page. So this is the one you got uh, Visual Universal Windows Platform Development .NET Development Desktop Desktop Development C++ ASP .NET Web Cloud Let's so Node JS Development Python Development Azure Development Data Storage and Processing Data Science Mobile and Gaming so You got uh, other tools You can select it What are the things you are looking for? So I'm trying to select everything. So over here you are able to see it here. So these are the things I have selected. These are the thing. I'm looking for these items, and here is the individual components. Select what are the language packs? So I'll be in Chinese, Czech, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, and Turkish. So I think I'm going with the default uh, components. I'll do. I'm clicking install. is 50.05 gb of space you want to so it's asking almost 50 gb to store it
I'm trying to insert it once again because it's asking more things. So since I don't have that much space in my uh, C drive. Let me check. Uh, I got one to 34 GB with me. Create application for the universal Windows platform. Yes, I can take this one. I can take this one. Desktop drama C++ I am not. I don't want. PSP .NET I want it. Azure I want. Python Node.js. Data storage. Data science and AI chair. SharePoint. Mobile gaming. So for time being, like I'll leave this thing. For time being, I'll leave this thing. Probably I'll take it up in a later stage. It's asking 26.5 GB. Still, I don't have much space here. Let me check it out. See it in details. So it's like almost 15.94 GB. It's 9 GB now. So I'm better like I'm going with the .NET Desktop Development, ASP .NET and Azure. It's better to go with this one. Probably like we can insert it in the later stage. Let me install. Now the space is lesser, so probably uh, I don't have any problem. So the installation started.
Visual Studio downloads. I'm trying to show you like a how whether my Visual Studio is installed. Yes, it's Visual Studio 2017. On clicking it, I'm getting my, this is the window. So you can connect to you can connect to all the developers by logging in by signing in. Maybe like uh, for time being, I'm trying to do just not know. Maybe later I'm clicking it. Okay. They are asking the development settings like uh, which one you want to uh, make it out. I'll give it as general for a uh, safer side. Uh, and which is the color theme you're looking for? So you got uh, blue, blue, extra contrast, dark, light, something like that. This is the default colors we used to have uh, if you worked in the previous version. So I'll have the same. I'm clicking my start Visual Studio. Looks like my Visual Studio is starting. That's good. So I got my Visual Studio started. This is your Visual Studio. I'm trying to open a project. File new project to see how the windows are located and how the functionalities are looking on. Okay, so we got a lot of things. I'm able to see the applications over here. WPF app, Windows Forms app, .NET Framework. Looks like everything is there. So Windows Classic. Oh, classic indicates the older one, I guess. Web, .NET Core, .NET Standard, Cloud. We got a lot of things. That's really good. Okay, so this is how you are able to. I'm giving it like I'm trying to check it out. I got my project started. Looks like my Visual Studio is ready to go. So on the whole, this is how you are able to install your Visual Studio 2017. Subscribe to our channel to get a lot of updates from us. Thank you. From Wikitiki.